This video is a production of the Colorado Football Officials Association. Written and directed by George Dimitriou. Narrated by Frank Shaka. Produced by Todd Allen. And with special thanks to the following people. Restrictions against horse collar tackles exist in various rules codes at all levels of football. The horse collar tackle is particularly dangerous due to the resultant awkward position of the player being tackled, who will often fall backward in a twisting motion with one or both legs trapped under the weight of his body. The player's foot getting caught in the turf and the additional weight of the defender also contribute to potential sprains or tears to ligaments in the knees and ankles and fractures of the legs. Officiating this rule requires a substantial amount of judgment. Rule 943K states, no player or non-player shall grab the inside back or side collar of either the shoulder pads or the jersey of the runner and subsequently pull backward or sideward that runner to the ground, horse collar, even if possession is lost. Here is a clip of a clear-cut horse collar tackle. There are three key components to this rule. Grab, pull, to the ground. The rule requires the grab to be at the inside back or side collar of the shoulder pads or jersey. A grab at the collar with the fingers not inside the collar can be just as devastating as a grab inside the collar. When in doubt, call a foul and throw the flag. It is not a foul to grab the front collar, nor is it a foul to grab the jersey in the nameplate area or at the numbers. The rule also requires the pull to be backward or sideward, resulting in the runner going to the ground. Grabbing the collar to slow the runner down without grounding him is not a foul. In this video, the runner is grabbed by the collar and released. He runs for several additional yards, so there is no foul for a horse collar tackle. Grabbing the collar and subsequently letting the runner go without grounding him is also not a foul. In this video, the runner is grabbed by the collar but is not taken to the ground. Officials cannot anticipate that a grabbing of the back or collar of the pad or jersey will result in a pulling to the ground. Additionally, the following are not fouls. Pushing the runner forward. In this video, the runner is grabbed by the collar, then wrapped up and pushed forward. Holding the runner so a teammate can complete the tackle. In this video, the runner is grabbed by the collar while a teammate completes the tackle. Swinging the runner or throwing him to the ground unless it is excessive or unnecessarily rough. In this video, the runner is grabbed by the collar and thrown forward by the tackler using both his hands. All the acts we've described are subject to judgment. Please remember this rule is a safety rule, and if there's any question about whether or not the tackle is illegal, throw your flag. Be especially vigilant for the buckling of the knees. In this last video, the tackler appears to grab the jersey in the area between the collar and nameplate. The runner is pulled to the ground sideways, and the knee buckle is clear. Calling a foul is supportable. 